Hello friends, welcome to Wings of Arrow. Today I will solve a problem based on aircraft performance and flight dynamics. If you are new to this channel, mostly we make videos on aerospace related tips and tricks to crack competitive examination and also career guidance videos for aerospace and aeronautical engineers. To know more about other videos, link is in the description box. However, stay tuned to our channel and website to lead the better future like jobs, internship, training and many more. Let's proceed for today's topic. First question. For conventional airplanes, which one of the following is true regarding roll control derivative and yaw control derivative where del r is radar deflection they have given four options first one is when the roll control derivative is greater than zero and your control derivative is less than zero option b roll control derivative is less than zero and your control derivative is greater than zero c option roll control derivative is less than zero and also your control derivative is also less than zero and the d option is roll control derivative is greater than zero and your control derivative is greater than zero let's see the solution simply we can follow strip theory which says that the roll control derivative of a wing which can be written like a positive whereas your control derivative it is just an analogous to each other so they have given the formula that is your control derivative we get as negative of cd naught by 4 roll control derivative it is a positive value so from this value we can choose the right option is, is a velocity of an airplane in a body fixed axis is given as 100 minus 10 20 meter per second the side slip angle is need to find degrees round off to two decimal places this question consists of two marks and no negative marks let's see the solution these are the given data that is a velocity now u is 100 meter per second v direction we have the negative 10 meter per second and w is 20 meter per second now we need to find the side slip now what is side slip angle is the angle between the velocity vector to the plane of symmetry mathematically we can write like beta equals to sine inverse of v by the magnitude of the v so what does it mean by magnitude of the v can be written that the root over of u square plus v square plus w square now when we substitute that to this magnitude of the velocity we get that 100 square plus 10 square plus 20 square we get as 102.47 meter per second now simply substituting the values in the formula that is beta equals to sine inverse of minus 10 divided by 102.47 we get beta value is around minus 5.60 based on the answer key given which should be range within minus 5.57 to minus 5.62 which is within the perfect limit so here the minus sign is very important and where we have achieved it. the eigenvalues for Fugoid mode of a general aviation airplane at a stable cruise flight condition at low level angle of attack r lambda 1 2 equals to minus 0 0.02 plus and minus i 0 0.25 if the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square the equilibrium speed of the airplane is need to find in meter per second and round off to two decimal places this question is also carries two mark and no negative marks let's see the solution and we'll see the given data first that is lambda that is characteristic values that is minus 0 0.02 plus and minus 0 0.25 of i so from there we can segregate the real value that is real eigenvalue and the imaginary eigenvalue imaginary eigenvalue lambda i and the real eigenvalue is lambda r to find the fugoid speed of an aircraft velocity recall the formula for the fugoid velocity so v fugoid equals to root over 2 into g by damping frequency 
g is given which is unknown is omega n now recalling again the damping frequency becomes minus real factor of eigen value divided by the damping ratio so again from here lambda r is known to us but we don't know the damping ratio again the formula of damping ratio that is a relation between the real eigen value and the imaginary eigen value so damping ratio can be written as root over lambda r square by lambda r square plus lambda i square so by substituting the values of lambda r and lambda i we can find the damping ratio about 0 0.0797 now substituting back uh, we get that omega n value is around 0.251 so substituting back that respective value into the fugoid velocity fugoid speed of the airplane root over 2g omega n so g is 9.81 and omega n is 0.251 substituting the values we get 55.27 meter per second round off to two decimal places answer ranges from 55.25 to 55.65 which is the within the proper limit for three different airplanes a b and c the yawing movement coefficient cn was measured in wind tunnel for three settings of side slip angle beta and tabulated as as shown in figure which of the following statements is true regarding the directional stability directional static stability of the airplane a b and c option a a b and c are stable b only airplane C is stable, both A and B are unstable. C. Airplane C is unstable, A and B are stable, with A being more stable than B. D. Option. Airplane C is unstable, A and B are both stable, with A less stable than B. Let's see the solution. So here are the given parameters. Now, based on the directional stability, it is it is been known that when C n beta is greater than zero, it is stable, and when it is less than zero, it is unstable. So first, we will plot a graph between the C n versus beta based on the graph. When the curve is positive, it is stable, and when it is negative. Or when it is a uh, curve is negative, it is unstable. So we can clearly state from this graph that option C is a right option. That airplane C is unstable and A B both are stable, with A being more stable than B. For a general aviation airplane with tail efficiency eta equals to 0.95, horizontal tail volume ratio V H equals to 0.453 downwash angle slope d epsilon by d alpha equals to 0.35 wing lift curve slope 4.8 radian inverse horizontal tail lift curve slope 4.4 radian inverse shift in neutral point location as a percentage of mean aerodynamic chord is need to find out in round off to two decimal places so let's first write down the given data first they have given eta that is tail efficiency 0.95 then coming to the next is a uh, tail volume vh that is 0.453 then downwash slope d epsilon by d alpha 0.35 then comes the wing lift curve slope d c l w by d alpha equals to 4.8 radian inverse then horizontal tail lift curve slope is about d c l t by d alpha is 4.4 radian inverse and we need to find is a shift in neutral point location as a percentage of mean aerodynamic cost now from here it is clearly been stated that what we need is that the static margin static margin is uh, simply the distance between the neutral point and the actual center of gravity so first of all here we need to find the static margin so first let's recall the formula for the static margin that is 
x bar np that is neutral point minus x bar of ac that is aerodynamic center divided by the chord equals to eta vh cl alpha t by cl alpha w 1 minus d epsilon by d alpha minus cm alpha f by cm alpha w since they have not given any such value for the fuselage we can sim simply ignore that respective value now what is a c l alpha t c and c l alpha w c l alpha w means do c l w by do alpha and c l alpha t means do c l t by do alpha that is a lift curve slope for wing and the tail now we can simply recall the formula that is after cancelling of the fuselage we get sm that is a static margin equals to eta vh cl alpha t by cl alpha w 1 minus d epsilon by d alpha now simply substituting the respective value eta is 0 0.95 and vh is on 0 0.453 CL alpha T is 4.4 and CL alpha W is 4.8 and 1 minus of Do eta by Do alpha is 0.35 so after that we get equals to after solving this above equation we get 0.2564 so in terms of percentage so when we need to convert in terms of percentage we get as 25.64 in round of two two decimal places and based on the answer ranges from 25.6 t 60 to 25.70 which is within the proper limit a single engine propeller driven general aviation airplane is flying in cruise at sea level condition density of air at sea level is 1.225 kg per meter cube with speed to cover maximum range for drag coefficient cd equals to 0 0.025 plus 0 0.049 cl square and wing loading w by s equals to 9844 newton per meter square the speed of the airplane is need to find meter per second and round off to one decimal please now first we'll see the solution and the given data in the given data first they have given is the density that is 1.225 kg per meter cube cd that is a drag coefficient they have given the equation 0 0.025 plus 0 0.0049 CL square. From there, we can, we, as we know from the drag polar equation, CD equals to CD naught plus K CL square. We can segregate the CD naught becomes 0 0.025 and K represents 0 0.049 and from that wing loading it's about 9844 newton per meter square we need to find the speed of the airplane now based on the question they have given that is a maximum range so first we'll go with the steady state condition that is lift is equals to weight and we know lift means half row v square scl equals to weight and by rearranging we get that v equals to root over 2 w by s by rho cl now all the values are known that is w by s which is 909844 and rho is 1.225 and cl is unknown now based on the maximum range that condition that is minimum drag condition so based on the minimum drag condition that cd not equals to k cl square so based on that cl becomes root over cd not by k so from here we can find the value of cl becomes 0.7143 so after that substituting the value back to the original formula that is cl value and we get around v equals to 150.0006 so we can simply write in two decimal place at 150.00 meter per second and as per the answer key given is that 149.0 to 151.0 and which is the problem.
number limit. Hope this solution was very helpful for you all. Don't hesitate to ask queries either in comment box or drop a mail in wingsofarrow at gmail.com. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get further notifications. Thank you for watching the video and fly high.